This is Gastonia burgi. And what we have here is the skull. And what I like to show you on these armored skulls is it is armored. But let's talk about the teeth. You see it's super tiny little teeth. There's my finger for scale. The teeth, very small. And there's this gap right here. And it had a beak of sorts that would have let it snipped off the plants. And then the teeth would have helped ch chomp it and but they didn't chew like a traditional mammal, so they would have swallowed a bunch of it. But if you try to attack this animal, this skull is all bone, solid bone, very solid. And you have, looking up the back, spikes. So if you went to bite this animal, you are gonna end up biting a spike. If you went to kick it, because its belly was soft, if you tried to flip it over, you would have hurt yourself badly because these are sharp, low to the ground, heavy. If you try to bite its back, it has a shield, a literal bony shield. Now, this lived in the early Cretaceous, so a Utah raptor's tooth wasn't going to rip through that. But later on, the big tyrannosaurids could have bitten through that with their mighty teeth. If you try to get to its tail, it had the big spikes on the side of the tail all the way down. It did not have a tail club like the later ankylosaurs have, but you still have an animal squat low to the ground. A full adult would have been around 16 feet long, weighed a couple tons, very heavy. It could have squatted down on the ground and it would have been almost like a tortoise today. Very difficult to have hurt this animal in life if it had decided to turtle up, if you will.